Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully chose the priest, St. John Eutis, to proclaim the unfathomable riches of Christ, grant us by his example and teaching that growing in knowledge of you, we may live faithfully by the light of the gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me not and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction so that I saw how many they were on the surface of the plain. How dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, never you with skin and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin all covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the Spirit, prophesy, Son of Man, and say to the Spirit, Thus says the Lord God, From the four winds come, O Spirit, and breathe into this slain, that they may come to life. And <clears throat> I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, 
our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. A responsorial song. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe, and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert, quiet wilderness. They, the way to an inhabited city, they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, he rescued them, and he led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of man. Because he satisfied the longing soul and fill the hungry, the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord for his love is everlasting. heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees. They gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel reminds us of our love of God being prominent and our love of neighbor being second. And it's a great reminder to us, but the question arises, how do we love God? How do we love our neighbor? And it's a love that we know or have heard in the past that agape love, which is love that 
does not hope for return in terms of the return for us, that we love not in a sense to get anything out of it or to receive anything. It's love for the sake of the person or the individual or loving the other as other. And it's something that is at times difficult because we do want that return of love or know that that return will come. We do want to love to receive something back. But that love is one that is going out, that one that is going out into the world. It's the love that God has for us because God loves us and we have that choice to return that love or not that love, but God still has that love flowing out to us. And so in that same way, we are aiming to love God as God and love others as others, not trying to receive something, but because of that love, we are just letting it come and go to its source. It's so that we have that distinction at times of the different kinds of love, that we have a place that there's a love, I think it's Bernard, Bernard of Clairvaux, where it says there's a the love of slave who loves because there is a fear involved. I need to do good by my master so I don't get punished. And then there's a love of one who is a servant, one who loves because there is a prize awaiting, that there are good things that can happen if they love. But we need that love as a friend or love as a lover to say that we love because of who the person is. Again, not loving because of what we will get or receive, but loving for that person who they are. My dear sisters and brothers, let us continue to strive in that great way, that love that is not self-serving, but is self-giving, so that we might continue on that path towards the Lord, towards our neighbor, and the love that the Lord desires for us each and every day. My dear sisters and brothers, eager for life in the Spirit, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the Spirit of God may prepare the faithful to hear the word of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Spirit of God may raise up a multitude to live the commands to love one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Spirit of God may rattle the bones of those at peace with injustice. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Spirit of God may gather those scattered by drought and desolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Spirit of God may renew the flesh of bodies bearing illness and pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for Robert and Elizabeth Fox, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Spirit of God may open the graves of those lost to disease and death. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for your own intention. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the suffering souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Come to us, living Spirit, for our bones lie scattered on the plain. Hear us and renew us, that we may live, restore to fullness as one people. Call to God's service in Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, but become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will be calm our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our relation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all their redeemed praise you. And all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we have claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like you do, Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and, give, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and you take. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Glaze, our Bishop, and all the clergy. We are also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, through Blessed Joseph, her spouse, through the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Hugh, Saint Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marry to be co heirs of eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Yes, yes. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have come to my river, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
With the Lord there is mercy, and him is plentiful redemption. Let us pray. May partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is in. Let us pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father, Son, and Son, and Son, Son, and Son, 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 Chosen be for all women, be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of the Holy Mother, imploring me, I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by our powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for every need I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in you. Betray now my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. 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 